doing the right thing starts with the idea when nobody is looking, I still do the right thing. I still make that decision that frankly works within our values. It aligns and it is going to support and raise the brand of Amtrak because it's in line with the values which are defining ultimately the culture we want to have. The whole purpose of what we do here is to make sure that we provide a service that's reliable, but most importantly, that it's safe for employees and for customers. The customers come with certain expectations, and they should. One is that they're going to be safe on our railroad when they step on our trains, when they step onto our property, anywhere that we are going to make sure that we're taking care of their safety. And I think we do that very well. I start all of my job briefings by reviewing the safety rule of the day, which sets the tone for the rest of our day. A momentary lapse in judgment can have critical consequences. When I see one of my coworkers doing their job safely, I acknowledge them, I praise them, and I internalize it so that I can exhibit the same behaviors in the future. So our offices interact with people day in and day out and, and learn to help them board the train safely, get off the train safely. So if we see somebody walking on an escalator with a heavy bag, you know, you'll see one of my offices approach that person and help them with the bag down the escalator so that we don't have any injuries. As police officers, that's really important to us that we provide that safe environment you know, for everybody to feel comfortable when they're uh, working at Amtrak or when they're using Amtrak. Doing the right thing is super important. Oh, and I put the top thing is the reputation of the organization, and I think that we all need to protect the brand, and by doing the right thing, we're protecting our assets, we're protecting the company, and that is making us fiscally responsible. It really comes down to do the right thing. And all of us have, you know, a basic sense of what's right and what's wrong and sort of personal integrity. And sometimes, you know, what is the right thing to do is absolutely obvious. Other situations are complex and confusing. There's lots of material that we can sort of look at to help with, but there's also the wisdom of colleagues, the wisdom of our supervisors, or if we have supervisees who we think have particularly good judgment. It's our responsibility to reduce our emissions and be good stewards that way. Um, since 2010, we've had a 17% reduction in our greenhouse gas emissions. What we do, what we say, uh, define us. Our, we are what our actions are. When I say uh, embrace diversity, for me it means recognizing, accepting, and valuing people and their differences. Treat people the way you would want them to treat you. If you're treating the people with the respect, you build a team, um, and, you, and they understand that you care about them, that you want them to work safely, it'll, it'll happen. Doing the right thing isn't a sometime thing, it's an all the time thing. When you're a successful team, you do the right thing even when it's the most difficult path to chart. And I've observed that it becomes contagious. When people start doing the right thing time and time again, the uh, work environment improves, performance improves, safety improves, and the service provided to the customers gets even better.